a man can escape his past. He came in search of a new beginning. Let me get you something. I'm here to see Marvin. Jimmy Boy. It's good to see you. This place is vital. Fortunately, man. You are gonna want to be a part of it. What's her story? Guy like you and me, we don't stand a chance. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, you seem like that type. Which type? The wrong place, wrong time type. I need to talk to him now. Just be careful. Something's changed, man. This time, do not try to find me. This isn't safe. Anytime a foreigner is killed, it makes big problems for us. Marvin's in trouble. His bodyguard and business associate were murdered. He's up to his eyeballs with his ex-general. <laughs> Can't keep stealing from Peter to pay Paul. Sooner or later, Peter gets tipped off. You really don't trust anybody, do you? It's different between us. We do things my way, or nobody gets nothing. Phnom Penh, 2009. This is Mirko from Germany. He came to Cambodia because he's on a mission. The movie City of Ghost, which was directed by the Hollywood actor Matt Dillon and was shot in Cambodia in 2001, is one of his most favorite movies. He has heard that one of the Cambodian actors who played Sok, the guide and most trusted ally of Matt Dillon, is still living in Phnom Penh, working as a city guide for tourists, showing them all of the former film sets and places where the movie was produced. Mirko wants to make a tour. Kem Serevut, now 42 years old, was casted by Matt Dillon eight years ago when he was working as a motor taxi driver at a well-known Phnom Penh guest house. Although he now owns a taxi and offers tours through the whole country, especially Kampot and Kep, where parts of the movie were shot, he likes to climb back on his cyclo in Phnom Penh because it reminds him of the good old days. The first destination they want to visit today brings them along old colonial buildings to the renovated square in front of Phnom Penh's main post office, which appearance changed quite a lot in the recent years. There you go, sir. Looking for the Belleville. Yeah. Well, I know, I know. I know, this place right here. You know this place? I know, really. Is it far from here? Not so far. Okay. Over there. Okay. No, thanks. Yeah, this is a room where Matt Dillon stay when he come to Cambodia. Yeah. Yeah, and when uh, sometimes he just stay with my cyclo ground floor. Yeah. Yeah, and he see me sometimes often. Then he just walk down to the well, we are resident here, we are here, we are come to the balcony here. Yeah, yeah uh, this resident, that uh, friend guy, uh, his name is uh, Chiradi Parjo. Have you met him? You yeah. know him? Yeah, he's a big belly guy, big nose. Yeah, he plays just like a tough guy in the restaurant. He's a such a funny guy. And uh, I want to laugh when uh, in the movie he say. Get this fucking thing out of my bar. Get this fucking thing out of my bar. Maybe you watch that again and then you, you understand about his line. Yeah. So far it's about eight years ago. I noticed uh, some building, a chain, and store was set up. New store, new uh, restaurant. Yeah. But in the ground floor restaurant, Belleville here, they chain uh, uh, outside repainting, new painting. Before, when I pedal the claw, when we filming, it just a uh, little bit of shake, around, but now it's smooth government, uh, do everything. So this must be the place where uh, the monkey grabbed the glasses of Madeleine. Yeah, yeah the scene that when uh, Madeleine, he dropped his glass here, and then the monkey just like comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then monkey just grabbed his sunglasses and then ran away. Are there still monkeys around oh. who can grab now my glasses? Yeah, if you're not careful, monkey just, yeah, he still live around here. Yeah. If you can get your so sunglasses. You should be careful. Run right yeah. away, yeah, you <laughs> must be careful. <laughs> yeah. 
loch. Where are you from, sir? The United States. Oh, yes, I know very good. My name's Sok. Sok, Jimmy? Yeah. Is this place far? Not so far. Don't worry, sir. I'm a safety driver. Yeah, I take you to Belleville. Uh, where are you from? Sir? I'm from Germany. Germany. Oh, I know Germany. Nice country, eh? Yeah? Is it far to the Belleville? Oh, not so far. Don't worry. I'm a safety driver. Sir. Okay. This is a renovated restaurant. They ah, change yeah, yeah, yeah. door, okay. window, but still have the same floor. Yeah. Oh, original. So, yeah, yeah, six years ago that they, 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 they changed. So, yeah, in movie, they, just the bar just put right here. So, but this cannot be the real entrance. Oh, no, 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 no. The entrance, uh, when the movie, uh, just put behind all this bar. Ah, yeah, yes. the boy with his plastic bag just comes through this door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I and remember. Then, and then put, put on the bar right here yeah. with the piece of food, you know? Yeah, yeah. Human food. Yeah. It's really scary. <laughs> scary. Hey, so Hello. You should have listened to you. Yeah. That place no good. Many bad people. Many bad people, all right. Oh. Now, why'd you take me here? My house is right over there. Yeah, it's good place. This good place still exists, not far from Phnom Penh's biggest bridge over the Tonle Sap River. It's the Wat Pi Put Rangsai Pagoda. Yeah, that man, then he sit here after he got beat up. I brought him to uh, get help from uh, my friend and the Buddhist monk. And do the monks really help the people when they get beaten up? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. People, yeah, when get trouble, always come to meet the Buddhist monk, yeah. And uh, after that, get washing, too. Like water from the Buddhist monk, like bathing. Oh. Yeah, and then uh, this this uh, magical washing could take away from your karma. Ah. And then uh, every bad luck just go away. Yeah, if you want to stay longer in Cambodia, you must try away from the trouble. As they just want to leave, they suddenly meet another very well-known face. Mirko is very surprised as he realizes that this man is Ian Woodford better known as Snow from Australia, who also had a very recognizable part in this movie. Snow is living in Cambodia since the days of the Untak in 1993, adapted very easily to the Cambodian lifestyle and stayed. Nowadays, the art lover and painter owns a very unique bar at one of the most beautiful locations in Phnom Penh, named after his daughter, Maxine. Hey, Mika, here's some shots for the movie. I'm in a, in a red light district in Phnom Penh trying to take out this, um, my beloved taxi girl from Battenbach. This one here, she's going to take her out of this, this uh, brothel here. And while I'm in there, Matt Dillon walks in. But he's looking for James Kahn, his mentor. Um, and, um, but he's not there. He's been set up in copper bashing outside in the back alley. But in the meantime, I don't get to get the, my beloved taxi girl, and so I'm off the rails a bit in Phnom Penh. So, bang, I'm going to fight this Pakistan. He's tattooed from the neck up down to his toe. Fuck it! Give me a fucking beer! Pakistan! And so I have a fight scene in there, and Mac flees the scene out of there. Trouble, you know what I mean? And um, that was my gig. Mirko's day trip back in time, when Phnom Penh still was a rough and wild place, finally comes to an end. He will never forget his exciting day on the tracks of City of Ghosts. Yeah.